Hey, good morning, friendly farmers. Happy Friday to you all. Yes, the weekend before the Christmas break. Ah, very nice. Hope it's going well for you. Hope you're having a fine and outstanding Friday morning. Uh, I am Farmer Min. Welcome back to Pelsman. Yep, I didn't think it was going to happen, but I'm here. I am here. Just couldn't get enough of this place. Um, actually, it's been a couple days since uh, we last met. Uh, there have been some changes on the farm. Matter of fact, I got to tell you a story. Um, got a phone call earlier today from Sophie. Yep. Kind of crying, you know, saying, hey, can I come back? I want to come back home. I want to come back home. I'm so sorry. You know, this weird thing is just not what it was cut out to be. And I said, yeah, probably one of those couldn't rise to the occasion kind of things. But uh, I kept my mouth shut. And I said, well, Sophie, I'll tell you what, I'm kind of busy right now. Uh, you just stay there. Don't worry about it. Um, I got things to do, and I'll give you a call back. Basically, what I was saying is I, I, I don't want to talk about it. And second of all, hey, you know what? I've met some friends. I've been down to the pub lately. I've been having a good time. The farm is uh, the farm is progressing. Um, had a bunch of cotton money. Maybe that's why she wants to come back. Cotton money. I don't know. But anyways, I said, hey, I'll talk to you later. So I'm going to have to give her a call later and see what's going on. But, uh, you know, basically, I just wanted to say, nah, you know, bite me kind of thing, you know? Um, you... Never mind, I won't say the word. Um, anyways. So, yeah, we have... It's been a couple of days. Um, the money has been fixed, so we are at, sitting at $240,557. Uh, we did have one thirty nine when I last looked in the last video before that. And then with the cotton sale and, um, the poplar sale... And then we had a bunch of money, and then I made some changes, which I did have on a video until I forgot to hit record. But uh, as I don't know, I'll show you what I did. Um, going to the map, um, I sold 32, 24, and 13. So then we ended up with about 1.1 million. Uh, and then I bought 8, 9, and 17. I think they came to... Well, like this one's 261, 291, uh, 4, 550, and then 6, 7, 8, 880, something like that. So we ended up with $240,000 left over. Um, so yeah, so I sold these three fields, and then I bought these three fields. And the reason I bought them is because, uh, whoops, um, there is nothing growing on them. They do need some work. But there's nothing growing on, so I can turn around and get and get the uh, cotton planted right back into these three fields, these four fields, actually. Boy, can you imagine the cotton harvest there? That'll be outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. Um, David here, uh, labeled A, he is busy plowing um, field 16. So that is outstanding. Um, what I am doing is taking care of the cows because they've been kind of neglected in the last couple of days. Um... So I'm mixing up some power food. Oh, the other thing, the other thing um, I got to tell you is uh, we did spend some money. Uh, we added on to the farm. That we did. We added on to the farm down here. We bought ourselves, had something built. We had a sheep pasture built. Hey, horse with no name. How you doing, big guy? Uh, we had a, we had a uh, sheep pasture built right back here. Isn't that nice looking? That is dandy. So we kind of kept it on this field here. And then we also put in a hayloft. I don't use haylofts too much, but we had all that hay sitting over at Aussie's, and I wanted to pick it up, and we have a loading wagon, so I bought, had that built, and that got placed in here, did some landscaping here, you know, some nice little circle drive there, and then, uh, you know, comes out into this field here. Uh, our poplars, yeah, we finished them, that wasn't too bad, not, not worth it, though, not worth it. So I got this field all lime, plowed, and cultivated, so that's all ready to go. Uh, David is right there. There he is. You can barely see the green tractor right there. Look at the trees behind that. We got to check on our trees, too. Um, so, yeah, so we're sitting here pretty darn good, I have to say. Uh, we do have a huge debt, though. A uh, huge debt, but we'll get there. F bacon? Food? You know what? I've been trying to feed bacon lately, and I, I can't feed bacon anymore for some reason. Bacon won't take any food. I don't know if he's had too much today or if the... Uh, evil witch whore took all our dog food when she left with the weeder guy i don't know uh did I say that out loud i'm sorry i didn't mean to say that out loud uh bad bad me bad me i i gotta i gotta be careful um anyways so yeah 
So I'm just kind of getting things wrapped up here for the evening. I wanted to get the cows all taken care of before um, before uh, the night sets here. And then tomorrow, I have some lining to do. So I have to do that, some field prep to do. And then we should be um, should be in good shape. Get those fields planted. Um... Uh, yeah, so I, I I'm kind of I, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Um, it's turning out to be a dandy of a thing. Oh, look out there, uh, fertilizer tote. Sorry about that. Uh, silage bale coming through here. Um, at least we're getting down there on our bales here. So now we have to decide if we're just going to haul in bales or if we're going to grow some and put them in the hay. You know, I don't know. We'll have to think about that. Because um, we will have to uh, up our stash here eventually down the road. Um, let's see, I can get, um, two more loads of power food. Uh, oh no, that's it. I only got two bales of hay left. Uh, unless I went down to the store and got some, but I really don't want to do that. Um, hopefully after this load, they should be halfway decent, I would hope. Um, and if I'm a good forker guy here, I should be able to get these two bales of hay and put them in there at the same time, and that'll be the last load. Then I have to give them some water. I know that. Um, so, without the uh, help from the mountain, um, I'm kind of wondering if we should uh, just buy bales or if we should get some grassland and, uh, come on, easy there, and do our own stuff. I don't know. Uh, I suppose... It's one of those things where is the land and all the equipment uh, worth it, or is it worth it just to go down to the store and buy some? Um, I mean, it's a lot of work to make silage bales and hay bales and all this jazz, you know? It's a lot of work. Um, oh, come on! Go this way! This way! Oh, look at that. I, for a minute there, I thought I was going over the edge. Now it's going to be really, really cranky. Um, so I don't know. Something to think about. Something to contemplate. Also got a conflict dog food. I can't believe it. Bacon's out of food. Uh, I don't know why she would take it with her, though. Unless she likes it. I don't know. Some people eat dog food. Maybe maybe she just snacks on dog food on the airplane or something. I don't know. Uh, or the boat or the train or the car or however. However they left, I don't know. Tractor? Could have left by a tractor. Uh, I don't know that. So let's see. How does this look? Well, that's not too bad. Um... It'll be at least halfway up. That's not bad. So we have to get some water and do some clean in here. And that should be okay. Look at that. 30,000 liters of milk. Holy buckets. How much is milk worth? Oops, going the wrong way as always. Um, milk. 1187. Ah. We'll have to check the price tomorrow and uh, see. Okay, that's all the power food I can make at the moment. So I'm going to give the uh, cows and the horses no name some water and do a quick clean. And then I'm going to go out and spread some lime. Uh, that's not the most exciting job in the world. So, I know. It's over here, you know, near the lime center. So, it shouldn't be that big of a deal to uh, spread lime and then go get lime at the lime center and keep going. Uh, I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, our uh, spreader is actually also full of lime, too, already. So, that's not too shabby. Not too shabby. Put that there. Uh, i got to find a bucket. Where did my bucket go? I know I have a bucket. Oh, it's on the other tractor. Um, there it is on the sprayer. Um, I suppose I could just use that to clean it real quick. But anyways, I'm gonna do that. We'll spread some lime. Um, if anything, oh, careful. If anything exciting happens, I will certainly uh, show you. But other than that, maybe I'll just see you bright and early in the morning, and we can uh, see what happens from there. But anyways. Thanks for joining us. I sincerely appreciate it. Um, I hope your Friday is going good. And hey, last weekend before the Christmas break, I hope you all get a good long Christmas break. And Santa brings you lots of good gifts. That's absolutely outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. But anyways, um, I'll wrap this up. And I will see you in die morning. Why aren't you going up and down? Why is my loader... Oh, there it goes. That was kind of weird. That was really weird. Uh, in the morning. Good morning. 7.22. Uh, it's 5.07 morning. Uh, David is out playing.
plowing as usual. I got one field lime last night. The tractor is sitting over yonder. I got to know these field numbers now. Uh, yeah, David's on 17. I got 17 and 9 lime. So he's on 17 plowing. Um, the tractor is sitting over by 8. But I have kind of a plan. And I thought I would try to make some money this morning and see how my driving is today. Um, I'm going to take a load of milk up here to the uh, Port Northwest. Uh, milk prices are not as high as they were last night, but still over a thousand bucks. So we'll take a load of milk in. I'm kind of curious. I, I need a little extra spending cash for this uh, little thing that I want to do here. Um, look at that. Yeah, weeds growing this morning. That's nice. Gotta love the weeds. Gotta love the weeds. Um, hey, how are our trees doing up there yonder? Hey, they're getting taller. Look at that. We'll have to go check them out. Um, forgot all about the trees up there that we planted. Have to get a scorpion king in there and chop those puppies down. Anyways, hey, so far so good. The driving's good. There's the spreader there. I have that field to do, but I have to go get some lime. Fill it up with lime. But, like I said, I have a little plan. I want to get some money. And the only thing I really have is some milk. I did, I should check the silos. I don't know if we have some stuff in the silos or not, but uh, labor costs keep going down. So about 213, it's not too bad. We did we did lose a bunch overnight for um, interest. That interest is absolutely just killing us. Um, but what we're gonna what we're gonna make in milk is basically just gonna cover uh, the interest payment last night. Um, I can't remember, I had it in my head last night how much money I needed uh, I did have, I do have enough money, but I, I just don't want to get myself too short. You know what I mean? Um, I need to get a bigger tanker is what I need to get. 8,000 liters at a time uh, does not seem like a whole heck of a lot. You know what I mean? It's a lot of trips, because I think right now we have 30,000 liters of milk. Um, that's four loads, four trips. And like I said, the price is not... Uh, is not record-breaking sky high, so maybe should have held hold off on it. Uh, I never understood this concept of dumping milk into a, a grate, either a pit. Uh, it doesn't quite make any sense. Why can't they have like a dairy with um, you know a dairy with milk uh, containers or a milk plant or something that you, you you stick it in? Not you don't dump milk down a pit, stupid. Stupid, I tell you. There's that. Well, that should just be about eight thousand bucks, maybe a little over. Um, Eighty-four hundred. Not bad. Not bad. Um, question is, then, do I keep doing it? Well, let's see what I'll, I'll show you. What I was trying to do here. Uh, if we look at the map, right here, I bought seventeen and nine look at how what a nice size field 9 17 18 and 19 would be that would be a nice dandy of a field so the first step would be 18 right here which is a hundred and eighty thousand i have 221 so i have enough to buy that and i don't have enough to buy both of them uh 175 and 180 350 yeah so i'm never going to get there I don't have near much, much money. Um, but I could start with 18, and I could plow them in. And that would be a nice big cotton field. Because if we did that field there in cotton, 8 in cotton, 16 in cotton, that'd be that whole big area in cotton. Um, that actually might make some that actually might make some money. I mean, we did make money on cotton now. Don't, don't get me wrong. Uh, we made $307,000 in cotton. Uh, so do another big cotton harvest. Being that we already have the uh, cotton harvester, that would uh, certainly come in handy. But I'm just wondering if I should just keep selling milk now. Um, milk probably dropped down now, didn't it? Um, milk, 1,057. Yeah, see, it was much higher. Maybe I'll hold it. We have enough money. I tell you what, yeah, crap. We have enough money. The heck with it, you know? It's only money for crying out loud. Um... We're gonna buy that. I still leave it with forty-one thousand. Uh, it should cover two two nights. <laughs> two nights. So we have that. So David's over there plowing. 
So I'm going to have to get over there and do some uh, creation and get that done. But let's get the milk container back. Um, well, that 8000 bucks came in handy. I mean, 41 now. Uh, so, you know, we were at 33, now we're at 41. Well, that's not too bad. I can live with that. But uh, I'm going to get the milk container back. i got to walk over to the, uh, for, uh, the lime spreader. Oh, crap. Got to fill that thing up. That's going to be spendy. That's like... 6500 bucks I think um, well there goes that 8000 bucks in milk paid for the wine um, yeah huh I didn't think about that we'll have to spread that one the other one well let's see let's double check you know what I've been, I've been kind of doing them all at the same time but let's just see um, 18 that we just bought what is growing Oh, that's got, oh crap, that's got, um, what's got cotton already in it? Oh, hey, it's got cotton already in it. Well, that's even better yet. I didn't realize that for crying out loud. Um, cotton already in it, but look at that, it needs plowy. Well, we can't do that now. Uh, if I'm going to plant cotton in there, might as well just keep the cotton in there. Um, make sure it gets fertilized. Hey, that's not a bad idea. That's already got cotton in there. So we can make that work then, I guess. Just kind of join it and then plant it. Oh, yeah, that'll work. That'll work. That'll work. That'll work. Um, let me get this back. Uh, I might have David do some lime spreading, and I will do some plowing. I suppose that would make more sense because um, I know what I'm going to do with the creation of the fields. So I'll get David to do some lime spreading, uh, that one last field there, and then I will um, get onto the plow. All right, here's what we got. This is uh, 18 here. This is the one we just bought that's got cotton already in it. Uh, David was working on this field, plowing that in with the uh, lime that I spread. Uh, but let's just hop in the tractor and let's just take a look and see what we can do here. Um, as you can see, I want to combine that one and this one. These are just dirt roads. So they really don't, you know, they don't really bother me to plow them in um, to combine them. I'm just trying to figure out how to do it. What would be the best way to do it? Um, I suppose combined... Let's see. These two and these two here. I don't know if I... I don't know if I want to extend um, the other two out. Probably not. Just because of the undulations in the ground. Um, I will dig up some cotton, but I can replant that. Um, this field is going to be farther ahead. But uh, with the crop withering off, we can just wait until it's all done. Um, what am I doing here, crying out loud? Um, that should be okay. Make sure I got... Um, boy, the web would be nice, wouldn't it? Or a allow create field subsoiler. That'd be pretty dandy, too, I think. Um, there. We'll just do that. So that'll connect those two. I can. I kind of screwed up the end there, didn't I? Uh, you know what? I changed my mind. <laughs> I changed my mind. Um, you know, that's kind of flashed over there. And if I believe, if I remember right, I did that once. Um, so if I just... Uh, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Why not come out here like this? That'll be nice. Because eventually, this will go into the other one, and I can... I can ex what are you doing? Um, what are you doing? Crazy. Plow is broken. I'm going to have to get my plow fixed, I think. This is repairing on the plow. We have to repair the plow. Repair the plow, man. Yeah, this would be a nice big field. This should make some money. This should make some darn good money. Um, it is almost tempting, believe it or not. It is almost tempting to um, plow in... 
to plow in this cotton and plow the field to get the maximum yield out of it. It is tempting. Um, I mean, it's not a huge field. It's certainly not going to take me very long. Um, I could just plow it in and then uh, so I can get the maximum out of it. But I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe I'll just do it this time and the next time. Uh, yeah, that'll work out pretty good. Wish I had the money to buy this one. I could do it all at one time, but I don't have the money. Sadly enough, I do not have the money. I'm going to have to get that coming the other way. Probably with these plows. Oh, it's tempting just to plow the whole thing and then do it. It needs to be plowed, so I'm going to lose a little extra you get in that. Um, then if I plowed it under and planted it. But it doesn't make any, doesn't make any sense really to plow under cotton and then plant cotton. Um, yeah. Yeah, we'll leave it. We'll leave it. So that should be that there. I will take out a little bit here. Plow, one roll. Then we'll combine the other two, and um, that should be good. But uh, let's see what's on the radio. Let's 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 do that. Let's see what's on the radio here. A little a little good plowing crate field music. basically said what the heck go for it go bigger go home yeah I, I made the field bigger I'm, I think I'm just gonna end up plowing the cotton in sadly enough uh, plowing that lime and everything and uh, called her good but yeah I, I kind of got the, the shape that I was looking for I mean it, it turned out pretty good I'm not, I'm not too I'm not too unhappy with it um, there was only a few spots that caused difficulty with the plows, so I'm assuming that when it comes time to plant, it's not going to be that bad. Uh, let's see, where in the heck is the... Oh, uh, yeah, right over here. <coughs> Excuse me, I got, I got the uh, spreader. David and I switched jobs again. We're playing musical tractors, and now that I got the shape I want, he is in there, and he is just doing some straight-up plowing. Um, I thought I would come down here and fill up the bradle. 
which is going to be spending another 6400 bucks or so. But uh, then I'm going to head down to that field where David is and uh, start working on the... Uh, well, I feel like I have to wait for him to get ahead because uh, that's already all been spread. So it would just be spreading the uh, the field already there and then the, extend the extension, excuse me. So I don't think that's too bad. I, I think it's going to turn off pretty big. I mean, if you look at the map... Whoops, not that map. I want this map. Um... If you look at it, that, I mean, there, there you go. There you can kind of see the outline of it. Uh, wow, that's going to be a big cotton field. Nice big cotton field. And then if we get, can get uh, 19 added into that, um, hey, buy back 19. Uh, yeah, buy back from the Aussies, which haven't shown up yet. So I don't know. There could be some options. Look at how funky 16, 16 looks. Uh, well, the blue here is where the corn was that we plowed under. But look at these little corners. I mean, I, I went over it twice here and here. So I don't know what the deal with that is. Um, 15. We could probably go plant something in 15. Um, I'm trying to think what would be beneficial in there. We don't have any pigs. Otherwise, I'd say a root crop. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know what to do in there. I really don't. You know what we should do? Out of curiosity, we should plant in uh, a cover crop in there just to see how it works. We haven't done that yet, so maybe I can do that. I, I was going to leave the poplars, but they're so... I mean, the, the, the effort, the time, the expense, they're not worth anything. So we tried that. We did that. That's, that's, all, that's all done. Um, you know, we don't have... That'd be a nice place for greenhouses. We don't have any greenhouses. Um, so that's too bad. But look at that, 18, 19. See, if I, if I own this, here you could do 10 and 7, 6 combined, and this field here, that would be a doozy. Maybe that should be my goal, is to just uh, combine what I can to make. Because we already started we already started here. There you go. So there's one, you do this. That's 2, 3, 4, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11 so like you know you'd have like 11 fields in this little in that that area right there uh except for the mountain top which is somebody else's um so yeah maybe, maybe that should be a goal i don't know i don't know but anyways oh we're full okay well, that was spendy Woofta. what a long winded today all kinds of stuff going on i'm driving better though that, that's that's a start that is a start um some people like richard would think differently but i think i'm driving better today I am. Uh, last time I said this, I hit a pole and almost hit the tractor. But this time, I'm gonna st I'm gonna stick with it. I haven't really hit any signs today either. Matter of fact, um, not too shabby at all. Anyways, um, let's see. What do we got going on? I don't know. I'll have to think about 15. What to do? I'll have to think about that. Um, otherwise, it'll just be a lot of plowing and some liming, and then next time we should be ready for planting. Um, get those fields planted with with uh, cotton so that would just be basically 8 16 and a big one so just three fields to plant three nice ice fields to plant with um, cotton and we'll be good to go I should double the oh, did I go by it no right up here in the hill um, yeah, I want to back up here um, that one field is just right here I don't think I've been down this road yet matter of fact I don't think I have um, it's amazing. Sophie leaves, and I, I get to explore the area finally. About damn time, I tell you. Uh, yeah, this is the one that uh, David was working on. I think it's all done. We'll just drive through here and double check. Should be all done. I also should probably run it run all over with the fertilizer spreader, too. I could either do that now or before planting. We'll, we'll touch up this edge here. Um, yeah, just a little bit. Nothing major. It's pretty more lime than it's probably worth, but uh, I like to make sure that it's all covered. Those are just shadows over there, I think. Yeah, those are just shadows over there. Uh, no more room for eggs. I tell you what, that, that got to get those eggs taken care of, man. That's getting a little annoying. But yeah, I think that's a pretty darn nice field. David's still going. Uh, well, just, maybe I should just go lease another plow. I could probably do that. Um, what I could get for to pull is this the 61 M? What one do I got? No, this is the oh, this is a 6250. Um, 
I wonder what kind of a plow I could get for that. I could just go lease a little plow, and I could I could plow. David could plow. Maybe that's what I'll do, because I think the Lemkin. Um, uh, 300 horsepower. Yeah, that's a lot of horsepower. And then I'd be down to this thing at two and a half meters. You know, why can't they make these subsoilers able to create fields? So, so stupid. So, so stupid. Um, but anyways... You know what? I think we'll leave it there for today because just David and I are just going to spend the rest of the morning and the afternoon hours plowing. And that's not that exciting. But, um, yeah, we'll leave it there. Anyways, hey, thanks for stopping in. Thanks for joining us. I sincerely appreciate it. Um, hey, it's Friday today, so enjoy your Friday afternoon and your Friday evening. Enjoy your weekend and the upcoming Christmas holiday. Um, I think I said this on my video this morning, but I do sincerely apologize for... Um, the uh, technical difficulties last night. We're going to do it again tonight. So please stay tuned and watch. We have some more stuff to give away, plus some new stuff to give away. So um, please tune in for that. But otherwise, have yourself a great Friday and keep between the ditches. So long.